Okay. Um, first of all, we're going to be clapping a lot, so let's open up with a round of applause for our scholars. <clears throat> if you're not familiar with our uh, Christchurch Foundation uh, scholarship program, if you, you might be new here, you might not have heard anything about this. Um, our uh, charitable foundation uh, uh, started in 1994 uh, awarding scholarships to local high school students uh, who showed great academic promise. Um, and uh, since that time, since 1994, if you can believe it, we have awarded 97 different uh, full college scholarships and, and educational grants to young people from our community. These young people and those who have received these uh, scholarships in the past they're all uh, from local high schools, either Fletcher or Ponte Vedra or Nice. And, um, and I just um, I want to share with you just some brief details about this program. Uh, it was started, as I said, in 1994 by generous gifts from Lottie uh, Woods and um, Susie Bucky and uh, the Parker Woodruff Scholarship. That was, uh, as I understand it, the seed money that helped then uh, start this program um, but what I want you to know is that our foundation, our trustees of the foundation, work hard every year with three or four different fundraisers uh, to put money into the scholarship fund so that we can send these promising young people to college. Uh, and those events are the ones that you all hear about year after year. Uh, they are our um, home tour, the shared treasure sale, the uh, sponsor's patron's party, and of course the golf and tennis uh, tournament uh, in the spring. So those four events are the ones that principally put money into the pot so that we can award these scholarships every year to these really deserving young people. Um, Tim Fitch is here. He is the chairman now in his sixth year as the chairman of our scholarship committee. He and his team review stacks and stacks of applications year after year to get to the the cream of the crop, the ones that we decide to award the scholarships to. So, uh, and I just want to share with you the names of the people. These are all foundation trustees who serve on the scholarship committee. If you're here, uh, please do stand up. Uh, Tam, of course, Kathy Seabrook, Duncan Thomas, Dave Beauvais, Janet Neal, Bonnie Horn, Sherry Tatham, and Donna Bourne. Those are the ones who go through those stacks and stacks and uh, do all the hard work on our behalf. Let's give them a round of applause. And uh, also, uh, I got a little bit ahead of myself. If you are a foundation trustee, please stand up. These are the ones who do all the hard work throughout the year. Stand. Don't be shy, foundation trustees. I know you don't all go to 9 o'clock church. I see you, Kathy Seabrook. Come on. Stand up. There's at least one. There's Louisa. Come on. Let's give them a round of applause. It's their hard work and your generosity that makes this possible, and I just want to make sure that everybody knows that. And now, without further ado, I would like to uh, introduce to you our uh, 2018 scholars uh, and share a little bit about each one. Uh, we start with Angela Ayub. Angela, raise your hand. Let's give her a round of applause. <laughs> Angela is a recent graduate of Nice High School, and she will attend the University of Central Florida and pursue a degree in biological health sciences and a career in physical therapy. We wish you all the best of luck. Let's give her another round of applause. And uh, Sam uh, Castano, raise your hand. Sam, let's give Sam a round of applause. <laughs> Sam is also a recent graduate of Nice High School. She's going to attend the University of Florida where she will enter as a junior uh, because of all of her hard work in high school. She'll enter as a junior and major in psychology and pursue a career as an anesthesiologist. We wish you all the best of luck. Let's give her a round of applause. Next is Stella. Hi, Mary. Stella, raise your uh, hand. Let's give her a round of applause. Congratulations, Stella. <laughs> Stella is a graduate of Ponte Vedra High School. She will attend Santa Fe College and then transfer to University of Florida her junior year to pursue a degree in biomedical engineering. Very impressive. We wish you all the best of luck. <laughs> Congratulations. Next is our very own Kia Kramer. Kia, raise your hand. Kia graduated uh, a few weeks ago from Ponte Vedra High School. She will attend uh, University of Florida, their Innovation Academy, 
uh, pursuing a degree in pre-med uh, and, uh, and innovation, uh, obviously towards a career as a physician. Let's give her a round of applause. <laughs> Next is Luciana Nunez. Luciana, raise your hand. There she is, give her a round of applause. Luciana will attend the University of Florida, majoring in psychology and special education. We wish you all the best of luck and congratulations. <laughs> Recipients of our educational grants this year are uh, Mr. Dylan Casto. Dylan, raise your hand. Dylan is a, uh, a second year recipient of an educational grant. He's already got uh, two years of uh, his bachelor's in nursing and a master's in business administration at Jacksonville University. He's been hard at work. We're happy to uh, continue to uh, help fund your education. Let's give him a round of applause. And Jess Conover. Jess, let's give Jess a round of applause. Jess, uh, as a recent graduate from Fletcher High School, she will also attend the University of Florida and pursue a career in physical therapy. Let's give her a round of applause. <laughs> we have two other grant recipients who couldn't be with us this morning, Allison Hamm, who's going to go to UNF, and also our own Katie Young, who is a student at UNF. Uh, and so we miss them this morning, but we wish them well. Uh, one of the things that I pointed out at the early service uh, that I want to point out again, and it went right to my heart when I read these kids' packets, each and every one of them, if you picked up on this uh, when I was telling you a little bit about them, each and every one is going into, intends to go into a career field where they help other people. And to me, that's just really something very, very special and uh, worthy of yet another round of applause. We wish you all the best of luck and know that you always have a home here at Christ Church. We, uh, um, even, uh, we, we consider you a member of the family now. We're going to be watching you all uh, from a distance, uh, w praying for you and, uh, and wishing you every uh, success and uh, good fortune as you move forward. Congratulations. <laughs> After that, I only have time for one announcement. You know what it is. I alluded to it in my sermon, capital campaign. We're in the midst of the capital campaign. As you all know, we're off to a fantastic start. If you are one of the 200 and uh, some odd uh, families uh, that has already made your pledge, thank you. You've really gotten the ball rolling in a strong way. We couldn't uh, be where we are without your generosity. If you haven't had a chance to get your pledge card in yet, uh, spend some time in prayer. Uh, you should have received one in the mail. If you didn't receive one in the mail, good news, there's one in your pew. You can take it with you. Uh, pick it up, take it home, pray over it, bring it back. Uh, you can bring it back, you can mail it back, you can call me, I'll come to your house and get it, I'll take you out to dinner to get it. I'll, uh, whatever uh, incentive you need uh, to get your pledge card in, it doesn't matter how big or how small your pledge is. Well, it kind of does, but it really doesn't. Uh, um, what's most important to me is that we have the highest percentage of participation as possible, that as many of our households as possible have made some gift. Uh, every, every house can make a gift. Uh, and we want you to be a part of this wonderful, beautiful thing that we believe God is doing here to help us polish this gem that is Christ Church so that we can be prepared to go out into the world and carry the love of God out into the world.